Portrait of Pirates figure unboxing and review. Arlong. You know what time it is. <laughs> well, hello, my brothers and sisters of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim, here to bring you um, uh, clearly another unboxing over here and the next in our Portrait of Pirates uh, series of uh, unboxings and reviews. So, without further ado, we shall get right into it, shall we? <laughs> now, this one, this one's pretty big. Now, it seems like whenever I order these bad boys, look at this thing, as compared to me. Oh, God, it's gigantic. So, <laughs> I know which figure this is, and I don't know, I think they always just kind of overkill it as far as uh, the packing. Of course, I would rather have it be overpacked uh, than underpacked, and uh, and honestly, I'm not paying for shipping either way, so I don't really care. Um, I mean, I know it's built into the cost of the, the product and everything like that, but... Uh, <laughs> so, oh my god, the packing peanuts are everywhere. Son of a bitch. Uh, see if we can get it out with minimal packing peanut damage. Oh my god. No, unfortunately we can't. But look at that's how big the box is. Still a big box, I guess, but I mean when you hold the two up, let me see if I can get this in the shot over here. I mean really? Well, I guess it is not that much bigger. I don't know. This thing just came and was dropped off on my doorstep when I got home from work the other day and I was like, what the hell is going on here? What did I order, you know? Uh, so anyway, so as you can probably see or have seen uh, by this point, this is, of course, Arlong. Um, you know, and, and this guy was was pretty cool because I know that I'm not caught up with the story, so there's much uh, much better things to come and, and all the other sort of things that I would come to expect after 200-plus chapters uh, in this wonderful masterpiece that Oda has created. However, in the first five or six arcs, so I guess in that first, that East Blue saga, you know, I would say that Arlong had to be, even though, even though Don Krieg, and there's no figure for Don Krieg, I checked already, even though Don Krieg probably pissed me off the most, just because it was just annoying how he kept coming and kept coming, and he was just such a cocky prick, and uh, Arlong really was just a, a, a spiteful bastard, because I mean, if you think about him and what he did to Nami and those villages and everything for the eight years, he was just a cruel, heartless fuck. And, uh, and really deserved what he got. But uh, but to me, he was kind of one of the... like If I were to get one uh, figure from each saga so far, I would get Arlong, and uh, and I, I've been keeping my eyes open for, for Crocodile as well, because I find those to be you know kind of the two bosses almost you know of, of the of the saga. So, uh, so anyway, we'll take a, a brief break over here. Just show you the giantness. It is that box again. Uh, and then we'll go and we'll open this bad boy up and we will, uh, yeah, okay, good, he's in there. <laughs> For a second I was looking and it didn't look like he was in there. Um, I was like, what the hell, they ship me an empty box, those sons of bitches. Um, so we will go and we'll, we'll take a, a short commercial break over here so I can get this thing out and clean up all these damn peanuts. There's peanuts everywhere. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, <laughs> so anyway, we will, uh, we'll, we'll get it and then, uh, and then when I come back, we'll obviously be able to see a, kind of a close up detailed look at Arlong of the Arlong pirates, uh, of the fishermen. And, um, I guess that's about it. So we will see you soon, brothers and sisters. Look at him with that big old doe-eyed stupid look on his face after he got his teeth knocked out. So here we are, brothers and sisters, after uh, about 15 minutes or so, and um, me uh, fighting a losing battle with the uh, awkwardly placed twist ties in the box, I finally managed to wrestle this big feller out of his box. Now, I have to say that out of the figures that I have thus far, I really think that Arlong uh, is definitely one of, if not my favorite figure. And not because of the actual character itself. I mean, I despise the character, kind of love to hate him. Um, but really, the detail, the dynamic pose that he's in, um, I mean, just just everything. I mean, just the, the, the gigantic sort of thing has to be, the sword has to be 10 or 12 inches long. I mean, it, it's, it's enormous. Uh, the fact that you can go and you can take uh, his teeth and, um, you know, as he did when he fought Luffy in the Arlong Park arc, obviously, in, in that final battle, um, and Luffy, you know, wound up uh, busting out his teeth, and then he could, of course, regrow them, and he kept pulling them out. Um, it's neat because you get two sets of teeth. Uh, one comes with the uh, the alternate arm, which I have yet to show, um, but you can, you know, remove those, uh, put them in it uh, at your whim and will. 
I also like how his shirt is kind of flying up uh, and back as if he's just sort of jumping forward and he's in this sort of action-like pose uh, coming right at you, you know. And uh, it's actually kind of cool because I have him up on the shelf uh, now and uh, and he's kind of facing off with Luffy who's in sort of one of those cool dynamic poses too where he's, uh, you know, just just looking forward and looking like he's just about to just, just strike, you know. <laughs> so uh, like a snake coiled up and, and ready to strike. So um, I definitely enjoy the fact that you get all these different types of pieces with these uh, the, these figures. This is the alternate head as well as the alternate hat. Uh, of course, the hat that he had when him and the uh, the fishmen uh, pirates, you know, Arlong's pirates, came to uh, Kokayashi, Kokayashi Village. I always mess that up for some reason. And um, apologize for my blurry camera work there, but. Uh, ultimately, it's kind of neat because you do you have the ability to switch out the hats if you like. Um, you also have the alternate head, which is kind of cool, and you have the teeth that are knocked out on it. Um, there, of course, is him, uh, and I'll show him more in just a minute. I'm just kind of showing the uh, the size comparisons to show you the uh, the box itself that it came in. The packaging was just enormous, and I don't really know why. Uh, I'm not sure what the meaning of that is because I have. Uh, you know, a few other figures now, and just based on that uh, minute, <laughs> small, you know, body of work and experience, um, I don't think it needed to be packed in that large of a box. So, uh, even with his pose and everything else, but uh, definitely a cool figure. Um, you know, as with all of these Portrait of Pirates figures, the attention to detail is wonderful. Uh, it, it really just is excellent and second to none. Um, you know, the, the fact that they're hand painted. Um, you know, here I go and I, I show you the actual, the other head as I switch them again. And you can see the, uh, the one with the busted out teeth. And then as I said, you can switch the hats as well. My only real gripe, uh, if I had one, about uh, the figure itself is that where his head is at right now, that angle, because of the way his hair is and everything else, that's as high up as you can tilt his head. Um, so, you know, he kind of is always looking down and just sort of has that sinister look, uh, which probably, you know, it doesn't really bother me that much, but I would like to have a little more mobility uh, just for kind of posing him. So, uh, and here, of course, is uh, him with the, uh, the other arm accessory on. Um, and, and holding the second pair of teeth in his uh, in his right hand, but uh, but everything right down to even the detail on uh, you know on, on like the anklet type things that he wears is just really phenomenal. And as I look these over more and more, um, I, I definitely see why they command uh, a higher price. I understand why they're highly collectible and highly sought after because they really are. I mean, they're they're the cream of the crop. Um, you know, certainly if you are a big fan of One Piece. Um, or some of the characters from One Piece, I, I definitely think that they are worth looking into getting. Um, you know, again, it just really depends on where you're at budget-wise and uh, and what you can afford because some of them can get pricey. Um, but also, I'm a patient person. I don't need to have something right now, so I keep my eyes open for things that are, uh, of course, a better value. Um, or you know, and it might take me a week or two. So, but anyway, here is the uh, here's the stand, of course, and these are all neat because they're etched, uh, they're engraved, you know, and actually has uh, the the name of the particular character in there. And uh, I think that's just a nice little detail that's kind of added, you know. Um, I definitely would give this one uh, a two thumbs up. If I had three thumbs, I would give it a third thumbs up, uh, just because again, it, it is just nice. I mean, even down to the detail on the nose. And uh, and here I went and as kind of a little bonus shot, <laughs> showed you. I'm gonna have to get some bigger shelves here for these figures because they're so big, uh, but, you know, was toying around and trying to kind of put uh, him and Luffy face-to-face uh, -face in sort of a dynamic pose. So hope you enjoyed the video uh, on the review, brothers and sisters, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Arlong's going to bite you.